Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here, and I wanted to do a really quick, short and sweet video today to emphasize something that I often talk about on this channel, but I feel like it gets lost in all of the mucky muck of all the other bigger things that I talk about. And that message is very simple. You don't have to necessarily listen to every single thing I say as the gospel truth. What I really want you guys to do is go out there absorb as much information from as many different sources as you can, and then kind of come up with some of your own ideas by picking different things that you've heard from different people and kind of melding them together into something that best suits you. So perfect example of this, a good friend of mine, Magic Mitch, sent me a video of a recent walk around gig that he did and his sort of philosophy for how he approaches the walk around when it comes to pocket management and all that, it's kind of like the polar opposite to what I talk about, right? I'm not gonna rehash my entire philosophy here in this video. Of course, I've done several videos on this, but to give you guys the too long, didn't read version of it, basically, I like to operate as a minimalist when it comes to pocket management stuff. Maybe have three to five pieces of magic on me, depending on how long I'm gonna be there for. Maybe I might have like three different sets of three tricks if I'm gonna be there for like three, four, or even five hours so that I have plenty of material to perform. My sort of approach to this is that I'm gonna be doing the same few pieces of magic over and over and over again all night. And then if someone wants to see something different, or maybe I need to approach a group that I've already performed for, or maybe there's that guy that's like, oh my God, the magician's so cool. Come here, everybody. You guys gotta check this guy out and now I'm gonna perform more, and I don't want that guy to see a lot of the same stuff, I have a couple of extra pieces in my act that I can perform so that I'm not repeating anything. But by no means am I coming packed to the teeth full of material. Now, like I said, Mitch's approach to this is kind of the exact opposite to me. He likes to have like 20 or even 30 pieces of magic on him so that he is ready for any situation. If someone says, hey, can you do something with this rubber band? Boom, he's got some rubber band magic to go. Hey, can you do some coin magic? Boom, he busts out his coins. Hey, can you do something with this dollar bill? Boom, he's gonna do a trick with the dollar bill. Can you do something with the deck of cards? He's covered. He's got a bunch of material ready to go and it's all situated on his body so that when he's out there performing, he doesn't really want to perform the same pieces of magic all night. What his goal is, is that at the end of the night, when people are kind of talking about what they saw, they're sharing their different experiences. Oh wow, he did something cool with a coin. Well, for me, he changed a $1 bill into a $100 bill. Oh dude, you should have seen this thing that he did with these like little red balls. He made them jump into my hand and blah, blah, blah. And no two people's experiences were the same. They all got to see something unique and they have something interesting to talk about. I'm gonna imagine it also probably keeps things pretty interesting for him as well, because he doesn't get bored of performing the same thing over and over again, right? Me personally, I love doing the same thing over and over again. I love knowing exactly what I'm gonna do. I love knowing that, you know, there's no margin for errors. Everything is planned out to the T. It's material that's tried and true that I've been doing for so long. But maybe you wanna try mixing it up a little bit and there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to Mitch's video that he sent me so that you guys can see the full thing and hear it directly from Mitch himself. I wanted to thank him so much for sending me this video. It was really cool to see that two completely polar opposite styles can still work. And that's why, like I said, in this video, you don't have to necessarily take every single thing that I say as the gospel truth. I do want you guys to do some investigation. I want you to ask around, join some magic forums. If you're part of a magic club like IBM or SAM or a local magic shop where there's other like-minded individuals hanging out, ask questions to as many different people as you can, get as many different opinions as you can. And then I want you guys to go out and put those opinions to the test. You're never gonna know what works for you until you've gone out and tried. Maybe do a little bit of A-B testing, right? Maybe you try it my way, do that 10 different times, see how you feel about it, and then try it Mitch's way, do his way 10 different times and see how you feel about it. You might learn, hmm, maybe I like Mitch's way a little bit better than Michael's, but 
I also don't want to come loaded with 30 pieces of magic and then you kind of balance it out a little bit. Maybe I don't want to quite go the full O'Brien route. <laughs> so maybe I'll still have a bunch of material on me, but maybe like 15 pieces of magic instead of 30 or whatever, right? So anyways, I hope you guys found this little video helpful and I really hope that you guys go over, uh, check out Mitch's video. If you haven't already subscribed to his channel, please go ahead and do that. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next Advice for Magicians video. Take care.